Welcome to this session of my tutorial on calculus. If you are coming across my lecture for the first time, please click the red subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. In this lecture, I'll be examining product rule. Product rule. Product means multiplication. If y is the product of u and v, remember the general formula we have examined. We said if y equals to x, I told you the y the x equals to, you take the power. The power of x here is 1. There is, a, there is an invisible 1 at the power. Use that 1 to multiply the function. 1 times x raised to power, no, the power is 1. Then we get subtract 1 from the power. That is the general formula we have examined from my previous tutorial. So, which is 1 times x is to power 1 minus 1 is 0. Anything is to power 0 is 1. So, we have 1 times 1 equals to 1. So, the y dx equals to 1. In the same way, to find the y dx, if y, if you differentiate this function, if you differentiate u, just the same way, you know if y equals to u, the y du, the y du equals to, the power is 1 times u raised to the power 1 minus 1, which is 1 times anything, uh, u raised to the power 1 minus 1, that is u raised to the power 0. u raised to the power 0 is 1, because anything raised to the power 0 is 1. 1 times 1 equals to 1. So the same way, if you differentiate u, it will give you 1. 1 times v, that will be v. So you put v, you know you are differentiating in terms of u. So you put the u dx plus, if you should differentiate v in the same way, you'll be having 1. 1 times u, that will be u. Since you are differentiating in terms of v, you put the v dx. This is the formula for the product rule. Please take note of this formula. So, on the basis of this, now let's take this as an example. Example. If y, or let me say differentiate, differentiate y equals to 3x squared into x raised to power 3 minus 1 with respect to x. So we want to differentiate this function. So now let's have the solution y equals to 3x squared into x is to the power 3 minus 1. This is the product of this function. It means this times the expression in bracket. So you can take this to be u. And you take this to be b. So that means u equals to 3x squared. 3x squared u equal to 3x squared, and v equals to x is to power 3 minus 1. So, to find the u dx, the u dx equals to, in line with the rule, we take the power, use it to multiply the function, 2 times 3x squared, 2 times 3x squared, that will be 6x squared, 6x squared is to, you know, if you have 6x squared in line with the rule, you have to subtract 1 from the power. So if you subtract y, so you'll be left with 6x. That means if you differentiate this function, it will be 6x. So let me simplify it for your better understanding. 3x squared. So in line with the rule, we take the power to multiply the function. You have 2 times 3x squared. Then you subtract 1 from the power. In line with the general formula I've considered. So 2 times 3, that is 6x raised to power 2 minus 1 raised to power 1. 6x raised to power 1 is the same as 6x. So that is for this. So if you differentiate 3x squared, so you'll be having 6x. Now, the v dx, the v dx equals to, if you differentiate this, 3 is the power. Use 3 to multiply it. So you'll be left with 3x raised to power 3. So if you subtract 1 from the power, you'll be left with 
x square just like what i have done here so this is constant minus derivative of constant is, is zero so minus is zero so you, it will still be 3x square remember the formula i've given to you i said the y dx equal to b du dx plus u dv dx so uh, the general formula we said the y dx equals to v du dx plus u dv dx this is the formula for product rule what is v so we said v equal to x to the power 3 minus 1 v is x raised to the power 3 minus 1 that is v the u dx uh, the u dx is 6x 6x the u dx is 6x multiplied by 6x plus u our u is 3x square u is 3x square multiplied by dv dx dv dx dv dx is also 3x square so that means we have times 3x square so now let's multiply let's open the bracket 6x times x is to power 3 that will be 6x raised to power 4 minus 6x times 1 that is 6x plus 3x squared times 3x squared that will be 9x raised to power 4 this and this are alike because they have the same power so you can have 6x to power 4 plus 9x to power 4 that will be 15x raised to power 4 minus 6x therefore dy dx equals to 15x raised to power 4 minus 6x